Greetings YouTube. I'm going to do a quick video on grips on single action revolvers. Um, basically because I've done some things to mine. Some have changed up completely, some I've just refinished. But especially on clones like the Uberti and the Pieta, um, they just kind of leave a lot to be desired. Their finish is either the color or the amount of gloss they use, that kind of stuff. So I just thought I would kind of show you some of the things I've done to mine, maybe give you some ideas to do to yours. All right, I'm just gonna kind of roll in some old video here showing you, um, this is from a previous video that I did, but um, basically showing you like on the Uberti, the amount of gloss and the red color that those grips had. Um, they're also pretty slick, especially if you get a little sweaty. I wasn't a big fan, so um, I refinished them and I kind of like how they came out. We're going to just talk about that along with some other ones um, here. All right, kind of starting off, we're going to start with a factory grip um, that I absolutely love, and that is my standard manufacturing single action. This, let's see if I can get the light to do it justice, is just gorgeous. I mean, it's just fancy walnut. Such amazing grain comes out of that thing. I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, and I'm going to leave these alone. They're, it's like an oil finish. It's not really, it's not slick at all. It's just like a hand rubbed wood. And it's just, I love it. Um, if I could make all mine look like this, that's what I would do. But anyway, this is the standard. It's one of the perks of getting that gun, I guess, is just get a beautiful, well, white's not really helping me, but a beautiful set of grips. And these are the one piece. I prefer the one piece to the two piece. And you'll see in a minute, that's pretty consistent with the ones that I own. Uh, the next one you saw from the video clip I rolled in, this is my Uberti. Uh, this is the um, 7th Cavalry. And I stripped these down and refinished them um, and then oiled them. Uh, so hand rub, oil finish, and they're very nice now. Not as pretty as those but definitely better than what they were. And of course the cartouche is still visible. Um, the grain is still there and very pronounced. Um, and it's just a nice, more natural color. And I, I like the feel of it a whole lot better. This next one is my <clears throat> USV artillery. Um, this one, I also did the same thing. Again, you can still see the cartouche is present. The RAC is still present, um, and these these turned out okay too. A little lighter there than than not. It's just how the wood took the stain, and um, I really like how how that came out as well. Uh, this next one is my uh, Cavalry Scout. These came out a little lighter yet. I didn't do anything different; just stained them the same. But again, the cartouche is is visible. Um, just again with a, a stain and um, an oil rubbed finish. Yeah, I like how that came out. <clears throat> this next one, this is my Remington. This one, I this is my first attempt at it, so it looks a little different. I really wanted ebony grips, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money to do it. But um, So what I did is I f took all the finish off. And um, I stained it with an ebony stain. Well, the stain didn't take, <laughs> and I, I don't know if it's because I didn't get all of the all of the finish off of it or what. But uh, well, as soon as I wiped the stuff off, it kind of looked like this, which actually I kind of like it. It's it's got a very like it's old looking, just old wood. The green did take the stain a little better than the rest of it. Um, but yeah, it uh, it's very different. But I kind of like it, so I oil hand oil or hand rubbed it, and I'm just gonna leave it. So there's that one. Some more stock finishes. This is the Schofield. This actually came how I would have done it. Um, this is just a walnut. Now it's weird that it's darker on on the one panel versus the other, but this is how it came. Um, and it's a hand rubbed finish. It's not glossy at all. So that one I'll probably just leave as it is. And this is the Pieta. I haven't done anything to this one because this one honestly doesn't bother me. Um, 
It's a little glossy, especially compared to like the hand-rubbed ones. So it's got some sort of coating, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I think, it looks, I think it's good enough. Now on my Pieta uh, Frontier that's engraved, it came with these. And, I, and these are just plastic. They're like PVC material. Um, and I tried staining it. I wanted to kind of give it an aged ivory look. Didn't really work out. It more looks like bone, but um, it's kind of got a pink hue and I never really was happy with it. So uh, I ordered uh, from Arizona Custom Grips. They're on eBay. A set of Magnetusk Ivory. These are not plastic. Um, I'm not sure what Magnetusk is, but it simulates ivory pretty well. Um, this is, they make different ones. This is for the Pieta. And uh, actually, <clears throat> I had some issues when I got them in. They didn't fit. And they come in three pieces. So you get each panel and you get a spacer in the middle. Um, actually, I'll just show you on these. Um, this and you have to glue them together uh, once you fit them but um, it didn't it didn't um, fit right so I contacted the company and they said send me your trigger guard and this back strap and they'll fit it and he said some pietas are just oddballs and um, apparently this is one of them so they had to custom make these for this gun so it's not a one that he had on the shelf he had to actually make it to fit and I think it looks pretty damn good it really sets off the engraving it just makes it look like a really nice classic classic firearm there and then the last one i wanted to show you was my a patron and i had talked about <clears throat> in the video where i showed you where i distressed this one and kind of brought it back to life i was going to get some age, aged ivory grips for it well my first attempt were these and I really liked this, kind of like give it a rooster shooter look, but I dropped them while I was putting it together and cracked the corner, which made it look kind of, well, I didn't like that. So I contacted him and said, hey man, I broke these. Um, I guess I need to order another pair. And uh, he said, he gave me a deal on a replacement since I did break them installing them. I did not have to pay full price for the replacement. Um, and I ended up picking these instead, which is a distressed ivory. Um, and it's the grain is the actual, it's not paint. It's I mainly, mean, it might be paint in it too, but it's actually a rough surface. And I think this sets the look for what I was going for on this gun. Just this gun's been around the block and it just looks like it, but it's pretty freaking awesome. So I'm really happy with how these turned out and the fit. I mean, is it a factory grip fit? No, I mean, there's there's a couple spots where it's proud. There's a couple spots where it just doesn't quite, but I mean, it's it's close enough and in your hand, you can't tell. And it kind of also adds to that look of, you know, this gun's been around the block a little bit, but I really, I really like these. I think it really sets the look of this off. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that I've done with my um, with my grips. And um, I know there are other options out there. There's stag, there's, you know, different different materials that people are making out of. Obviously people don't use ivory anymore, um, but you can get pretty close uh, like with like with these. Um, I think they look really, really good. And to my untrained eye, I can't really tell that they're that they're not real ivory, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with, uh, how my grips have come out. Um, so anyway, if you guys want to tackle this, it's not hard. Um, I'll try to roll in some stuff about what, uh, some of the things that I used to strip and to stain and, and that kind of thing. So, all right. You don't need anything really special. Um, I got this all from Walmart. Um, I used quick strip. It's a paint and varnish stripper. It sprays on kind of like a foam. You just let it sit for a little bit and then um, you can use a mild abrasive like three outs or uh, you know three, yeah three out steel wool or something like that and uh, it'll, the finish just comes right off you might have to do it a couple times but um, that's what got all the varnish and all of the uh, the gloss off for the Cimarron guns here after I did that and got to bare wood 
This is what I used. It was Minwax Penetrating Stain. This one is Dark Walnut. Um, and depending on the, the, the wood itself, there's three different versions of how the wood took the stain. It's all the same stain. Now this is very light compared to this one, and this one's kind of like a, a marbled mix. But, you know, I, I did everything the same way, so it just depends on the wood of your grip on how that takes the stain. And for the Remington, I, I don't think, I, I must not have gotten all of the varnish off or something, uh, but this is what I used. I used the uh, True Black, trying to get a black grip. And actually, this is the same one that I used in my original when I did the original El Patron grips. This is actually that that black uh, finish. And on these, I didn't oil it. I uh, I used a uh, polyurethane, uh, it was Minwax fast drying polyurethane. It was uh, three coats of that, very lightly sprayed, and then uh, sanded down with some three out steel wool. And um, gives it a nice protected, but very satin finish. And these, I like these, um, but I really wanted something different for that gun, which is why I chose those. All right, that's uh, basically how I did it and what I did. And if you decide to uh, do this for yourself, it's not hard, just take some patience and you'll really make your gun your own. Thanks for watching.